Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I want to show you something that I was playing with and I thought, you know what, this is a great tip. I want to uh, do a video. This is for beginners, whatever. It's just another way to make layers in your mixed media or a background on ATC cards, your art journal, whatever. Um, so I'm using a bigger stencil here just so you get the idea and you can see, but I'm going to show a couple other uh, things as well. Now I put my mouse pad underneath uh, to hope I get a little bit more cushion for my pushing. And I'm going to use eggplant just because it's newer. I was trying to use, I was doing a background and I was using my green and it was like, nope, not going to work. So I'm going to, you like my table squeak? All right. So I just am using a stamp and I just dabbed it on and I'm just going to pick And I'm going to stamp, it's still not stamping the way I want it to. Maybe it's just, maybe I should just try to stamp. No, that's better. You see that? Let's do this one now. It does help with the mouse pad underneath, but um, I don't want to have to. Maybe I'll try a softer one, but I want to show you. And you see what happens? Oh, autofocus always goes on. I don't like you autofocus. Okay. So let me show you. And look at that. So you get all these circles and you get these little little designs in it. So you're not, you know, it's not just a solid piece. So if you want to do like I have Punchinella, and I'll lay that there. And you can use paint too, I'll show you. But let me find a we're probably going to go back to this little circle. I hope it's enough, but I'm just going to, I just want flexibility and I'm just going to push into my ink pad. Okay. And I'm going in and I'm going to just stamp on top of it and just all over. Now that's a little too busy, I think. A little too busy, but kind of looks, I mean, it looks cool for a background if I was going to cover over it. Um, but I don't think this stamp is good for that. Hmm. See, I really dig this one, but it's just not, it's not giving me what I'm wanting. Let me get some purple on this bad boy. You're catching my drift though, right? Because the pattern, you can make it go all the way around. And then when you lift it up, there you go. You see how it gives you the, that's like a crack, you know, crackle and all that. But again, use whatever you have. Um, and I'll show you another one. But you can see that you get, you know, I mean, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if it'll print if I turn it over. Let's see. Because that would be cool too. I don't know what kind of print we'd get, but let's try. Nope, did nothing. Okay, I'm happy with <laughs> I'm happy with this, and I'm happy with this. So I think you're catching my drift. But let me show you. You guys know I love the kids fun foam texture. So let's see what these do. And I'm just stamping in, getting some of that ink, and I'm gonna stamp it. lift it off and you get it look you get a really cool just those little dots and some spaces between them oh I like that a lot but again it's you know whatever kind of thing you're looking for those remind me of candies when I was little that were like sugar candies and they had like little like I don't know what the heck the, it was candy on the outside too but it had those little bally things I don't know so yeah so that's definitely like I said a good way to do it. I think I'm going to take, let's do, let's do the balls with these little balls. <laughs> let's see. That's one shape, but okay. There we go. Let's 
Again, just adding Yeah, see, the bigger the stencil, you get a little bit more payoff, as you can see, but it doesn't really, it honestly doesn't really matter. Now, let me shut my stamps up here, and then we're going to try paint instead of ink. Okay. And I'm just going to turn the page. And like I said, I have that underneath. No big deal. I'm just going to turn my paper over as not to waste. I'm going to put that in there anyway. I know that's a mess. I really need a new mouse pad. I really do. And I'm going to use do, 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 that. And I can't decide. I, I think I'm going to go. Ugh, I, I guess I'll do half and half or a piece and a piece so we can really see what we have going on. And I will put my paint here. And what color do I want to do? Let's do like a light green. And you don't need too much. And then on the other part, we'll do a fuchsia. Oh, okay. A little noisy there today. Okay. Now I want to take a brush. Doesn't matter what brush. You want a flat brush. I want to make sure that it's dry. Okay. And I'm going to do this one first. So I'm going to go in with, maybe I'll do pink first. And I'm going to just put it on both sides. And just run it over. I'm going to go, I like to go both ways. I have it on my Etsy. I have everything 20% off if you use the code NOV20, no, you know, the beginning of November 20, you'll get 20% off of everything if you're interested. My Etsy link is down below in the description, but you can look for me as knitting and things on there. All right, let's see. What's going on? Like I said, you can go over. Also, oh, I'll tell you in a second. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Let's see. Ah, not too bad. You can imagine if you did it the whole way, which I probably should have, but I didn't. Um, because I want to see what the other kind is like. You know what I mean? With the dots. So make sure if you use your stamps and paints that you spray some water on them and get the paint off so it doesn't uh, distort your stencils because it can. Um, depends on, you know, if you care or not. Some stencils I don't care, others I do. And here with the dots, I'm just gonna, and I'm showing this a lot because this is so cheap. You just go to Michael's, they come in like a, a box almost and you get like so many of them and you use a half off coupon and, and matter of fact, half the time they are already on sale and you get there are so many different uh, patterns to get that you can use as stamps so I'm gonna go in like this kind of work on the outside we'll do the whole thing let's see if we can get more oh there's some paint in the middle there See if I can get any. And Blitzy, oh, you can get Blitzy's having wicked, wicked sales even still today. Like their uh, all their dilutions, the paints and the sprays and all are fifty percent off. You can get them for three bucks. Um, as well as if you're not familiar with Blitzy, it's a art store online, and they ship within. You get it within two days, and. Um, they have everything. They have everything from paintbrush, paintbrushes to uh, spray bottles to um, acrylic paints to all the Tim Holtz uh, 
what are they called? Ink pads, all the different kinds, all kinds of regular ink pads, stencils, Bible journaling, um, regular journaling, needles, fabric, clay, uh, books. Uh, I, I mean, I could go on scissors and just everything, 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 gesso and uh, plaid stuff and oh gosh, all over the place. Um, watercolor stuff. They have great watercolor and metallic watercolor. That's real cheap uh, for sale today for like four something. So go check it out. The link is down below. Um, it, it's just a great, great place. And if you sp spend over $29, the shipping's free. Uh, if not, I think it's $4.95 or $5.95, but it is so worth it. I love it. You get it in two days. Um, and like I said, you can get scrapbook paper. Oh gosh, resin, all kinds of stuff. So definitely go check it out. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Look how cool. Now I like this. I wish I would have finished it. I didn't obviously, but um, maybe I will. But I really love the way this looks. Oh, so yeah, definitely go check those out. Like I said, go check out my Etsy because I, and I'm out um, every day. So, but I have, you know, I have jewelry, I have, uh, paintings, I have my eye girls, all kinds of stuff. So go check it out. And that link will be down below as well. All right. So now I'm going to paint more of this on and let's see, let's get the rest of this flower done. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the uh, pad isn't the mouse pad. <laughs> it like ends right there. So we're not getting much more up there, but I really want to get this middle because I want to see what I'm going to look like. I think I'm also going to spray a little water. Okay, so I'm going to do that with my just a little spritz and then go now I have problems with my hands I have RA and um, so it makes things a little harder now you can see this is where my mouse pad ended and it's like a squish or squish there but you can see I mean it came out pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool oh, so like I said what the, all the great stuff that you can do it's you know, just think about using colors and different colors and like, look at this, you're doing a painting or in your art journal and you're like, I, I don't know what to do as the background. There you go. Um, I, you know, this is for my clay. Um, and you can, you know, you can use this as a stencil as well. You can use, like I said, your punchinella, you can, oh, so much. So I hope you guys try this and let me know what you guys think. Like I said, it's so much fun. I love it. Um, and remember, if you guys have your anything like this, you can use this as well. Just think outside the box. You don't have to stay in the box. Go outside the box and run around. Take your shirt off and just enjoy life. So <laughs> that's all I have for you today. Please check out my Blitzy down below. All the fantastic stuff there. Check out my Etsy. That's down below as well. And if you enjoyed this little tip, uh, please leave me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And please share me around. So, um, I get around cause I, I enjoy getting around. And, um, if you, if you're new to my channel and you would like to be subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell next to it. So you can be notified when I upload, which is usually five to six times a week. I've been struggling the last two weeks with not feeling well, but this video, I was so excited to do when I was painting, I thought, Oh, I want to share this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I love you guys so very much. I hope you had a great uh, Thanksgiving holiday. If you celebrate, I'm thankful for all of you guys. I can't tell you guys enough. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.